and we are back live here in Chicago from the Wind Trust Arena as day one of the G League Elite Camp continues to roll on. Dirk uh, alongside Mark Shanowski. And of course, we got game number two that's going to be coming up. A lot of exciting players to lay in there. No good. Uh, they just can't get anything to go. It's really been a struggle on the offensive end for team four. And Jones with the right hand gets to go. Nice drive by Carly Jones. He has six points, six of the seven for team four. They're on the attack again for team three. Nice little cool player. Did a good job in his first year for the Golden Eagles. Another one of those guys who will have to consider whether it's best for him to bounce a game. And, you know, he was a guy on a, a well-balanced Jayhawks team that showed that he has the potential to be a very good offensive player, and he's trying to show that to the scouts this afternoon. As the second one's good. Execution there, Carr was able to draw the help defense, kicked it over his teammate, he got the easy two, and again, Ooh. it's Carleek Jones going strong to the goal. Hopefully everybody's okay after that collision down there. Yep, everybody's getting Great. up to draw the help defense. He can either score for himself, get to the free throw line, or dish it off to a teammate. Big collision there with Kevi Aluma, but he was able to, and sometimes you see a guy that in college that plays under a more structured system. defense. You can be such a weapon on the offensive end. Every NBA team wants that to decides to, to go back and, and, and get another year of college ball under his belt. Carly Jones with the pink shoes on the attack. I gotta tell you this, I'm kinda happy the Twitch chat doesn't pick who's actually on the court as a big three goes <laughs> in, because guess what? Coburn will be playing every Draw that double team defense. He's done a really good job so far. And of course, we'll be having an ISO cam show up at some point in that third quarter. There he is again. Oh my goodness, Jones is trying to steal the show. Star now. of game two this afternoon. A little hesitation move. Dawson Garcia falls down. He gets called for the foul. It's gonna be the and one for Jones. And he got him on a swivel and he had no chance, Florida State. There's our guy again, Jones. Just Hunter Dickinson and Mike Smith and Sean D. Brown all did some nice things along the way. But Coburn, of course, is hoping to join more than what we've seen so far in this first game. But, you know, for big guys in this kind of format, sometimes it's a little bit difficult because they're not necessarily going to get a lot of touches in the low post. They're going to have to drive the player. Jones with the rebound now. Still keeping up with his performance, haven't scored yet. Nice assist there, though, going on the inside. Different story in the second half, mostly because they've been getting better shot opportunities because their guards have been able to get in the paint to score for themselves or addition to their teammates. Much better offensive execution by getting a couple of easy ones for Team 3. They need something like that because the uh, comeback by Team 4. And rattles around at home, two for two. There we go. We got Jones. Can you hear us? Yes, sir. I can hear you. There you go. Look at this. Hey, we just want to read this off to you. 8 to 10 shooting, 6 to 7 from the foul line, 23 points. The most points we've seen scored here at the Elite Camp so far. Run us through what's going through your head. We're on that hot streak. You're 7 to 7 at one point. Um, you know, just take what, what's there, uh, what's given to me, and, and, and just kind of let the game come uh, and, and just stay locked in. That, that's really... Uh, you know how to the mindset I came when I came into the game uh, just stay focused and uh, let the game come to me how different is this environment for you as opposed to what you were doing at Louisville obviously this is our teams that are like an all-star format you guys are kind of thrown together but I thought you did a great job reading pick and roll coverage being able to analyze the defense do you feel comfortable in this this up-tempo NBA type of uh, ball game uh, definitely um, like I said, uh, I just, I just, for one, I love pick and roll. Um, I feel like this, this is when I'm at my best. But um, it, it's definitely new. Um, it's, it's definitely different from school ball. But like you kind of said, it's like an all-star game where there's a lot of guys, a lot of talented guys on both ends. Um, and, 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 you know, you just play. Um, at the end of the day, I think it's basketball. I take it, I take it as that every game. And, you know, I just try to, you know, play my hardest and, and let the game come to me. And of course, we're live on Twitch, so we asked some people out there to ask you a question. And Elijah Turiel says, what keeps you inspired, especially being in a stage like this at the Elite Camp, and how do you not let the negativity get to you? Um, what really just keeps me inspired is, you know, I never, I never forget where I came from. I never, I never let, you know, you know, the small things, you know, let me get, you know, big-headed. Um, I know I worked my, my butt off to get here. I'm glad I'm here, but, you know, it's not enough. Um, so really just, you know, not forgetting where I came from and, and, and not forget, you know, I was, all, I was slept on, you know, and I still feel slept on, but, you know, I never forget the fact that I was slept on. So I, I just keep going and keep going and going until, you know, I reach that dream. 
You know what? You get really high marks on the Twitch stream for your footwear. People are loving those fluorescent <laughs> pink shoes. What was uh, what was the motivation behind those? Um, one, I, I mean, I, I like I'm a, I'm a big guy on, on my shoes. Um, I like to wear, you know, different color shoes. Um, I just like to be a little different. Um, so, I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody else is going to bring in some hot pink shoes. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that was that was my go to for for today. You know, you're in you're in Big Ten country, so a lot of fans here wanted. Well, there's no fans in the arena; it's all scouts and executives. But fans we're hearing from on the Twitch stream are saying that uh, they love Kofi Coburn. That's a big that's a big man at seven feet two ninety. What's it like playing with that guy? Um, it, it, it's great. Um, you know, I've had a, a few good bigs in, in, in my time at Louisville, my time at Radford, but um, you know, s seven foot. Uh, I don't even know his weight. I mean, I heard about three hundred pounds, but you know. That's, I look at that as domination. You know, you, you, you don't come across, you know, bigs like that all the time. Um, and, and when he sets screens, he gets you open. Um, he rolls hard. He communicates a lot. And like I said, it, he's a big guy. You got to feed him the ball. And, and to be able to throw the ball in the, into a big guy like that and, you know, let him work is always a blessing. It makes it easier on me. It makes it easier on, you know, the rest of the team. And, you know, it, it definitely, I feel like it helped us win. Or Carly Jones, I would be lying to you if I said, I, I mean, I just, I'm not lying. I would make those shoes on 2K all the time. as my custom ones. I, I love the all pink. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. And again, congratulations on your performance. Thank you for having me. Great game today. Thank you. Man, that was that was a crazy sequence to watch. He said, hey, like, what? You never get a chance.